Hey guys, teacher Mark here and today I'm going to show you how to draw this mandala using just basic shape tools in Affinity Designer. So this is really easy to follow tutorial. I don't have any sketch or blueprint here. I will go a little bit freestyle just picking different shape tools and merging them together into this nice mandala. All right. Keep in mind, I post two tutorial like this per week. So if you are interested in Affinity software like Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, please follow me here on YouTube. Let's get started. As you can see, here I am in Affinity Designer. I got blank document. My artboard is square for this project. First shape we're going to use is called Cloud Tool. I'm going to draw it holding shift so I got perfect proportion. Here it is. Now I can change the number of bubbles to 8 using this handy slider at the top. All right, and we can also position this in the center. The last step for this shape will be to pull this orange control point so we got this perfect circles as the building block for our bubbles. All right, it's time to decide about color. So we can use our slider on the right side or the color wheel depends on your preferences here to select a color. Don't worry too much about it. We can always recolor this later. We will also need to set up some stroke here. So for this project, we're going to use both field colors and stroke color for each shape. I don't want to keep it totally black, but very dark blue color instead for our stroke like this. All right, let's modify this curl a little bit. I'm just typing from keyboard and here's my first shape. This is the biggest one and then we will go smaller, smaller, smaller until we reach the center of this mandala. All right, next shape. Again, I will start from the center like this. Here it is. Now I can also modify the numbers of arms here. So we will stick with eight. Let's change the color to some contrasting color to our first shape. And finally, we will use the orange control points to modify the shape. A little bit of rotation first, like this. All right, so I rotate this whole shape and now I will modify the appearance by dragging orange control points. This one out like this, we got a little curve here. Now we can join it. Change the distance in between arms and also we can modify the center here. We can make this hole much larger like this. And this was our second shape in our mandala. Now we are going to select next one. And this time this will, this will be donut tool. So donut tool is nothing else than just circle with the hole inside already. And we can change the diameter here like this. So this one is rather simple, just a circle with the hole. And we are ready to put star on the top now. So I'm going to use star tool. And again, first I draw the star in the center and then I use the top menu to modify the numbers of arms. After that, I drag and play with orange control points on my shapes. Keep in mind, you don't need to follow this tutorial very closely. You can experiment and play with your shapes. All right. So I make it very, very round and I will make it round here as well. So our base shape for this one was star. Now look totally different because we altered the look of this shape using orange control points on the small shape. We can modify the color of the object is when it's still selected. All right, maybe a little bit darker for this one. Again, I'm going to open my smart tools, smart shapes, and here I will draw our next shape. This time we got water drop, rotate 180, position inside one of these bubbles. We will need a new color for this element. So we got a little contrast here. All right. And now I'm going to duplicate this element by dragging when I hold my common key. Flip it. We can group them. 
and this way we can position exactly in the center. So we've got group of two elements, I can just copy and paste and now four elements copy and paste and rotate them to here. Nice. We will do a similar trick with a circle outside the mandala. So I will just draw a circle once Position in the center exactly. Make a copy down here. Now group two elements and I can rotate them. So position them over here. Copy and paste again. Add some rotation. Position them here. Copy and paste. So we should work with the group of two elements. So it's symmetrical. We don't need to worry about position because it's always aligning to the center. All right. Nice. Now we can go back to the center of the project. We didn't finish just yet. We need few more elements here. So let's draw our next shape. You know this shape already. There are multiple control points inside. Let's set up four arms, not eight this time. And again, using orange control points, we can alter this shape. We can change it completely very, very quickly. You can always use move tool to make shape, shape larger or smaller or add some rotation. All right, if you're not sure, you can align the shape to the center. We are working on the square artboard, so it will always align nicely to the center of the project. All right, and I got duplicate here. You cannot see it just yet because it's the same color, but I'm modifying the shape using orange control points. So the duplicate is a little bit different and now I will change the color of that. So here it is. So I got duplicate on the shape to give it a little bit more detail. All right, we almost there, almost at the center of this mandala. So I'm going to reuse this cloud tool again, but this time I will make them long like this. I think I will need to change the position of this layer. So I will drag it below. So it's hidden below that object. So if you want to change where the object appears in your project, you must use the layer panel on the right and rearrange the order. All right, looks good. Now it's time for our next element. So again, shape tool. And here from the list, we can pick maybe star tool again. Here's my star. I can modify the numbers of arms, this time four. And again, I will make them round, not sharp like this. So I will round my star. I got like four bubbles now and I can rotate that whole shape like this. Then very simple shape, just circle at the top of that. We can pick up the color with color picker to use our color existing colors from the project. All right, I'm making duplicate of this shape that's already here in the project. Now I need to move it at the very top here in the layer panel to the center. Let's zoom in a little bit. You can use navigator or you can use shortcut like I did, command plus to zoom in. And here's the center of our mandala. I think we can still add a few more details here and there. So maybe duplicate of this one as well with alternative color. Cool. We got more details out there. And also here something very, very similar. So I just duplicating the shape I already got here and then I playing with properties of that. In this case, I also change the color. Mm 
Okay, I feel like there's something missing here in the center. So let's draw a oval shape here. And now we're going to modify this shape a little bit manually. So we don't have any control points here, orange points. So let's convert this shape to curves and then use no tool to select ending points and we transform this to sharp nodes. So we got sharp ending points here. All right, now duplicate by dragging one while holding command. Group, copy and rotate. And here it is, very quickly. As I mentioned, you can play around with different shapes and modify this design. You don't need to follow this tutorial that closely. You can also pick your own colors. It's really easy to recolor elements. They're all vectors here. All right, I think element here is missing. So we got this big chunk of pink. So let's modify this duplicate, maybe like this. All right, yeah, it's much better now. So now I'm simply adding and balancing this whole design. I try to have like similar number of details all around the project, not only in the center. So it's why I'm adding some duplicate shapes out in the like outside part of this mandala. Okay, I really like this result. It took, took us only what, 10 minutes? And we use only very basic, easy to control shape tool. So that's really easy project. And thanks to that, you can practice almost all different shape tools in one project. Now I'm just setting up background using rectangle tool and my project is ready to be exported to PNG or to SVG in vector format as well. Thank you for learning with me today and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye bye.